Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on optimal storage on tapes in greedy method. Greedy method is one of the algorithm design method. This method is used for solving optimization problems. Optimization problem may require either maximum result or a minimum result. It depends on the given problem. Now, optimal storage on tapes is one of the important application. So, the optimal storage problem can be stated as follows. Suppose there are n number of programs are there. Each and every program has a length L sub x i. Okay. So, these programs, these n number of programs are stored in a magnetic tape. Our main objective is to store these n programs in an optimal way. Okay. So, each and every program has some different lengths. So, these different lengths, n number of programs are stored in the magnetic tape in an optimal way. Okay. So, this is the optimal storage on tapes problem. So, sometimes we can take a single tape. Some other times we can take multiple tapes for assigning the n number of programs. Now, this problem belongs to n number of programs that can be assigned to two tapes that is uh, T0 and T1. Okay, how we are assigning these n number of programs to two tapes T0 and T1 in an optimal way. After assigning these n number of programs to these two tapes T0 and T1, next how to find out the total retrieval time. So this is our optimal storage on tapes problem. Next we go for problem. So here total number of programs, total number of programs that can be denoted by n, total number of programs that is n is equal to 30. Okay, number of tapes. So, number of tapes, there are two tapes are there, that is two that are T0 and T1. T0 and T1. Now, arranging the program lengths in increasing order or a ascending order. Arranging the arranging the program lengths program programs lengths in increasing order in increasing order increasing order so here there are 13 programs are there these 13 programs are arranged in increasing order so among the 13 programs which is the minimum that is 3 is the minimum next one which is minimum 4 is the minimum. Next one is 5 and 5. So there are two 5 program lengths are there. Next one is 6. This is 6 is there. Next one is 7. Next one is 8. Next one is 10. Next one is 11. Next one is 12. Next one is 18. Next one is 
26. Next one is 32. So these are the program lengths after arranging them in increasing order. Okay, now these program lengths can be assigned to the two tapes that are T0 and T1. We are simply assigning the program lengths. Each and every one can be assigned to uh, first program length that is 3. 3 can be assigned to the first tape. The second program length that is 4 that can be assigned to the T1 tape. Next third program length is 5 that can be assigned to the T0 tape. Fourth program length that is 5 that can be assigned to the T1 tape. Fifth program length is 6 that can be assigned to the T0 tape. Sixth program length is 7 that can be assigned to the T1 tape. Seventh program length is 8 that can be assigned to the T0 tape. Tenth program length that is 10 that can be assigned to the T1 tape. Left. Next program length is 11 that can be assigned to the T0 tape. Next program length is 12 that can be assigned to the T1 tape. Next program length is 18 that can be assigned to the T0 tape. Next program length is 26 that can be assigned to the T1 tape. The last program length is 32 that can be assigned to the T0 tape. So after assignment of these 13 program lengths can T0 and T1 now find out the total retrieval time. Total retrieval time. Total retrieval time for T0 tape. T0 tape is equal to so first one is 3 plus second one can be accessed for second program can be accessed we have to access first program plus second program next to access the third program we have to access the first program plus second program plus third program next to access the fourth program, we have to access first, first program length, second program length, third program length and fourth program length. Next, to access the fifth program, so first we have to access the first program, second program, third program, fourth program and fifth program. Plus, to access the sixth program, First, we have to access first program, second program, third program, fourth program, fifth program, and sixth program. Plus, to access the last program in T0 tape, first we have to access the first program length, second program length, third program length, fourth program length, fifth program length, and sixth program length and seventh program length. Okay, so this is the total retrieval time for T0 tape. Next, total retrieval time, total retrieval time for T1 tape, for T1 tape is equal to First, we have to access the first program plus to access the second program, to access the second program, first we have to access the first program and we have to access the second program next. Next, to access the third program, first we have to access the first program, next we have to access the second program, next we have to access the third program. Next, to access the fourth program in T1, first 
first we have to access the first program second program third program and fourth program plus to access the fifth program first we have to access the first program second program third program and fourth program and fifth program next to access the sixth program first we have to access the first program second program third program fourth program fifth program and sixth program okay so this is the total retrieval time for t0 date and this is the total retrieval time for t1 date next the total retrieval time for t0 date is equal to after summing these all these components all these program lines the total is 214 next total retrieval time for t1 date is equal to so 157 157 so this is the total retrieval time for t0 date this is the total retrieval time for t1 date now we have to find out the final total retrieval time for two tapes t0 and t1 finally the total retrieval time the total retrieval time retrieval time for two tapes two tapes t0 and t1 is equal to total retrieval time total retrieval time for t0 tape plus total retrieval time total retrieval time for t1 for t1 tape t1 tape so that is equal to total retrieval for t0 tape is 214 total retrieval time for t1 tape is 157 so therefore the total is 11 7 8 So three seventy one is the total retrieval time for accessing thirteen programs from two tapes T not and T one. So this is the final total retrieval time. So total retrieval time for two tapes. Two tapes T not and T one is equal to three seventy one. Okay, so this is the how to placement n number of programs on two tapes. N value is equal to thirteen. These thirteen programs can be placed on two tapes T not and T one. After assigning these thirteen programs for two tapes T not and T one, and the total retrieval time for T not tape is two one four. Total retrieval time for T one tape is one fifty seven. So the total retrieval time for two tapes is three seventy one. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So Divela Srinivasa Rao, Divela Srinivasa Rao. So thank you.